Yes, and that That's is awesome. that is a bracer's item, which would pretty much be a weapon for Aurelia, unless anyone wants to engage in unarmed combat. The final item, the champion tier, uh, uh, wonderful goggles, uh, clockworkers goggles, uh, might be something that fits Tempest appropriately. This is something that goes on your head, which means that its default bonus is mental defense. A series of colored lenses that slide into position, revealing the secret flow of battle to you. As a recharge 16 plus, you can swap positions in the initiative order with another PC or NPC. Let's say you roll a 7, and the enemy rolls a 34. You're like, I want the 34. That asshole enemy can take the 7. Ta-da! <laughs> so you, can wow. all, you can always go first. It is a recharge 16 plus, so likely that would just be one battle per full heal up. You say, I'm going first. Maybe go fuck yourself. This, this, this raises an interesting situation as well. Because, say I decide to not use... I imagine just, like, if I do go for that and I get that magic item, and say I have 7 initiative and the enemy has 10 initiative, and say Sheep has 11, right? Mm -hmm. So Sheep goes first. I, I don't use it. Sheep goes first. Enemy goes. Then I go. And at the end of my turn, I use it so I go before Sheep. <laughs> like, I swap my spot with Sheep. Yes, there is uh, an enemy. Wouldn't it be a thing that you use at the start of initiative yes, rather it, than it, in it, combat? It, it would be something that you'd want to use after initiative is rolled instead of like doing uh, okay. a combat round. Yeah. Okay, right. I just oh. wanted to figure that yeah, out. Basically, like, 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 once you see like all the initiative rolls, you go, uh uh. I mean, I guess if you really wanted to use it during a middle of combat, I suppose the, the, it doesn't say that you can't, but... <laughs> that, that, that would be interesting with this as well. Yes. Like, but then you, you could get, like, two rounds in a row. That would be pretty damn good. Well, I mean, is it as good as you just being able to act first anyway? But yes, you also do have the Codex of Foreshadow Victory and War, and you don't have to wear the Clockworkers goggles. That's just, like, one of the items here. So yes, in exchange for, uh... For, you know, basically making a contract, which he's just going to stay flat out. Uh, it's not like a sort of like a written thing. It's like a verbal thing, which is funny for Tempest to agree to. But it's something that the entire party would have to come to the fountain say they agree to. Uh, you have to drop what you're doing and pursue that intellect assassin to the ends of the earth and murder it. You've got 30 days from the time you agree. <laughs> 30 days. You oh, That thing yes. dies, and it, it, it goes, like, you succeed, and that thing is dead. It's gone, no more, doesn't exist, permanently, irrevocably annihilated, preferably with the Sword of Ruin. That dwell here was carrying. That'd be really fucking awesome. You just pick up that son of a bitch, hold the damn thing helpless, and BAM! Murder the intellect assassin. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let me go ahead and pull this thing back up. <laughs> uh, interesting. But yes, uh, yeah, 30 days, uh, basically from the time that you agree, uh, to find uh, this some bitch. Uh, the fountain voice will not tell you specifically where Dwohirim is, uh, only to say that it, he is in the Dragon Empire, and he's not that far from the Midland Sea. I'm not trying to screw you over on that front. <sighs> but, uh, if you don't accept this, uh, the fountain voice says that it'll just keep offering this deal to other people, and eventually someone will do it. And also, not only get those rewards, but then if they kill him, we're gonna get the Sword of Ruin, too. Yeah. Okay, that's... That's, that's kind of a big uh, thing there. Because nice. that's something that Drohirim is wielding, the Sword of Ruin, and all of the magic items that he's also wielding. Yeah. Guys, uh, remember Thief Strike. Remember that thing I just he's took wield power. He's wielding the Sword of Ruin directly. You can't snatch ah, that from him. But the magic items? It, maybe, yes. <laughs> that's what I was going for. Not yeah. the wheel. I yeah. know you can't take armor. Yeah. Yeah. I know you can't take weapons. However... Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, oh, he probably has I, some teleport um, that's shit. Also, <laughs> what I've taken my epic feet in is uh, apparently in apparently dark's not in the call. Uh no. <laughs> like who are you gonna do this guy? I, I I can try to add him, but try to add him, I guess. Ah, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me. 
Uh, I, I, I could host a call, I guess. He, no, 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 let him try restarting Skype. His Maybe his just froze up, or, like, hurt her or whatever. Sure. Who can say? But yeah, uh, that is what the voice from the fountain is offering uh, Tempest, the opportunity to perhaps save your, the, you know, the body of your friend. Or at least maybe not your friend, but your traveling companion for so long that you've known for a while, Dwohirim Harska. Uh, basically redeem him being devoured by an intellect assassin. To uh, kill him, murder him, murder the intellect assassin, fucking destroy him, perfectly with the Sword of Ruin. He's not asking for any of the items, so you get the Sword of Ruin. You get whatever magical shit that he's got on him. Plus you get the magical items that the Voice of the Fountain's offering you. Plus, also stopping someone else from getting the sort of ruin. Yes, because this voice, the front voice definitely guarantees it's going to keep offering this shit. Yeah, to basically whoever. Won't lie, that seems like quite an insanely powerful weapon we want to keep out of the hands yes. of bad guys. Yes, and we certainly want it for ourselves. The yes. sort of ruin would definitely make you a target even for positive eye. Like, even for heroic icons. Mm. Yeah, but at least we know where it is. Yes, yes. They, they all have their attitudes and opinions on what to do with it. Yeah. But yes, uh, that is what the Fountain Voice Burbles do. <laughs> While everyone else is in separate, like, meeting with their own people, and uh, Aurelia is snoozing. She would most certainly have been able to hear any of these things had she been awake. It's not as if it's quietly whispering to you. Tempest mm. will probably walk over to Aurelia, prod Aurelia until she wakes up, maybe snaps a finger off of Tempest and Tempest fixes it back in place. <laughs> uh, and probably will share this with Aurelia. Well, Aurelia will very quickly go from are you mad and insane to oh god, we can find to hear him and that would be amazing. Well, you were easy to convince. <laughs> I mean, you are telling me that a fountain just talked to me, which is difficult to believe. And then you told me that that fountain has a way to track to a hero, which is even more difficult to believe. But we are in a city where difficult things happen all the time because the people here are all wizards. Aurelia, Aurelia, you're talking to a person that turns into a cube for years at a time. So yes, uh, there you and go. And that's that. There's that to consider. Uh, eventually, uh... Jasmine's meeting with uh, the Prefectus will end, as well as Garak's meeting with the Marshal, and uh, Aranasa's meeting with Solana. How far away is the Temple of the Moon? Temple of the Moon? I will actually show you on the world map, and so the tactical map, uh, to give you a semblance. If you want to see exactly how far it might be, it's beyond the Dire Wood. Uh, you can ah. load up the world map and uh, take a look. It is more than it yeah. is yes that is denoted with a purple icon. And more than thirty days. It uh well the also I mean better back. Another requirement would be that you need to be there uh and go in around the full moon. The full moon has passed for this month. Uh, how long is it till next full moon? Is a question. Well, you can look over the right side and check out the calendar. Your current uh, day would be the sixteenth of readying. The, full, the, the moon phases are predictable. You're currently on the 16th of Reading where uh, Stupid Dog is. <laughs> Stupid Goblin, yay! Goblin, yeah. So, yeah, so your, 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 next, uh, your next full moon's in a few weeks. Okay, is that the new moon? That's the new moon. Yeah, that's full moon. That's a full right, moon festival. <laughs> yep. Uh, under, like, uh, the Prefectus understands that, you know, you obviously can't like go in there right now, but by the time you, like, you prepare for the travel and you get there... You'll pretty much be around there by the time the full moon's there. Because hmm. travel time can be obnoxious. There's not, like, really any roads out there. You have to go into the Giant Walk Mountains. You have to go past the Dire Wood. You skirt, like, you know, within all the fucking hills and shit. That's where it is. It's a pain in the oh. ass far away. Oh, God, guys, we're approaching group uh, session 30. Pro <laughs> <laughs> uh. So I suppose after the meeting, Aranas will uh, will thank her for her time and uh, go to find his companions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Discuss what should be done next. 
Yeah, so Astrid will come and scoop you by if you folks get lost, which might very well be possible and direct you to the courtyard. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be funny if the visitor really got lost. They were just we, we should we should ask for a private room, actually, since we don't yep. really know who's going to be listening. Indeed. Uh, sure. Astrid uh, will note that uh, that was one of her master's warnings. To be careful where you speak out in the open. Uh, you can use Lord Tarapis' office. Right. As he is out handling business. Drop to us. You save enough. Save yeah. enough. So if you can't trust Lord Tarapis, who can you trust? Indeed. <laughs> and Astrid, Astrid will come by and inform uh, Tempest and Aurelia that uh, the rest of their group has congregated in Lord Tarapis' office to discuss various offers. Sure, so, really quick like being it. made out of marble. She has no comment for that and will escort you back to Lord <laughs> Tarapis' office. <laughs> and then basically go to, like, stand outside the door and a bit to the side. I will sentry mode. Yep, they have sentry mode. I will uh, step <laughs> away from the computer now while you folks chatter. Wow. Me, I personally, said... I'm convinced for this sort of ruin. It seems like more... Well, assuming we tell each other of each other's offers... Yeah. I mean, I, I assume we do. I mean, I'm, I mean, I should. I, yeah, I guess we can just yeah. Yeah, we tell each other. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense, right? I, I think it's either the sort of ruin, or we go and uh, kidnap, kidnap Leon, because then we yes. can do both that and get the upper storms. I would be inclined to agree. Besides, saving an old ally, and perhaps turning him good again. Yeah. Is to Potentially two old allies, Leon and Wohira. We can't do both at the same time. Mm. No, we have to choose. Equally, you know. But one equally, can be saved, the other one cannot. But the other, the other one has an artifact that can still do much damage, whereas Leon seems rather content, seemed rather content to just enjoy his victory. This paladin is good at what he does. He sort of looks to Garak. Yes, indeed. But well, there, that is something. There's no time limit on uh, this one. Indeed, that is something we uh, we might do at a later date. I think. Uh, I it's think not. not. We have to do right now. Right now, he's leaving for to do it. It sounded like right. Uh, no, no, he's not. No, there was no time limit on his one. Oh no, no, that he, one. He has been there. Tried, 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 failed. Yeah, I was. Yeah, but so. but going to that's true. Going to. Uh, to save Leon, then, seems to be the most prominent action. Mm -hmm. Since, I would argue, that the Lich King and the resurrection of the White is the greatest threat. Yeah. As there will be, if, if the three win, it'll mean the end of the age. If the Lich King wins, it will mean the end of all ages. Yeah. It's something we cannot allow to come to pass. And if... Leon is truly important for this, then it must take priority. He does there know a lot, and if we can turn him to the uh, the other side, so to speak, there's much we can learn. There is something to be said about guaranteeing that there'll be no that the Empire won't be further thrown into a third war. Well, yes, going with Taraptors is certainly something we could do, but that would be as bodyguards. Yes. Alternatively, we did the scroll, which would also guarantee there's not a third one. Well, what's yeah. saying that the Hydra would just say fuck you and attack anyway? I have a feeling it's a magical scroll, for one. The Hydra might not, but as we've heard, this Draco Druid is going there as well. I doubt he would have the sincerity to care. I doubt it. And uh, doing this might just um, anger the other Druids to attack. Yes, I, I do not think it would be would, a good would, would, would they oppose the Hydra Druid? They, have, they might. Say if the, th the blue came with a scroll that told the emperor to stand down and, and leave his... Uh, basically, don't defend the outlaying cities from the dragons. Would we obey and simply do nothing? We're not saying, uh, we're not saying don't, don't defend. We're, we're saying don't, don't outright attack. Well, the, well, the, the, the Hydra might take offense to it. defense of nature. The, the Hydra might take offense to it and just say, well, I can't do anything, but you go ahead and do whatever you want to to his uh, or her underlings, so to speak. The High Druid is right now arguably 
in the most powerful position they have ever been. And their demands are not without remedy. The Empire has stretched far and to some degree denying the need for nature is not the way to go forward. The Empire needs a lesson, humility perhaps. Working with the Druids will give the best results and forcing them to a temporary truce will in the best case make them simply reinforce and get stronger for the time where such a such an oath would expire. Alter- alternatively, would you would you would you rather they break? Would you rather alternatively they use all their forces against the Empire and then neither are capable of fighting off the three? I do not believe the three is the major enemy here right now. It seems that the Lich King is of greater concern. But both are big enemies, and if neither are able to fight them off, you're going to I would suggest we. Save this ally of yours, Leon, so that he may aid the uh, Twilight Cross in fighting the Lich King. Then, after that, I might suggest we go and convince this other companion of yours to go with us to the Abyss to relieve the Great Gold Worm. For I believe if anyone can defeat the three, it would be the most powerful and most ancient of dragons. I believe so too. And that is something we should do in time. So However, I, agree with, do- I agree with definitely after whatever our first objective ends up being, certainly going off and doing that is something major we should do. Yes. However, this is still the matter of Dohir. Uh, if we go after Leon, we can't deal with Dohir. Uh, it would be it too late. It is known now that this Bohurim has been serving the Draco Druid, who is going to the Conclave. I doubt he will have much activity in the meantime. Perhaps laying low, giving this Shadow Personality a chance to attack him without too much effort. However, simple, we must take care of the problems that are the most pressing first. And I, do not, I doubt it will be easy to convert Leon back to good. They will need time to do that, and the more time we can give them, the better. It probably will not. Uh... They also will be leaving, even if we do not go with them. Likely they will fail, which will not be something that can be tried again. If we go after the worm, however, we could get those uh, gauntlets, right? The, uh... so the reward. Stone throwing gauntlets? Do, do you know? That it's just a pile of magic items that you get for Dohirum, while the rest have much more strategic objectives. I mean, if you've got the Abyss, where we create the Golden Worm, we have Leon, where we would improve the power, and you'd also have Thomas, who would bring a lot of strength to it. I mean, these are quite strategic things, whereas Dohirum, it would be eliminating a strong foe, but the only immediate rewards that we would get are the treasures. And then it would be the stopping the what if, basically. Beyond and that, it sounded would, like it and sounded we would like possess the sword of ruin. We would also possess those uh, like gauntlets or whatever they were uh, of redemption. I'm not sure. I yes, uh, just accepting. We uh, could use that to defeat the other side. Just the accepting the mission from a burbling fountain voice would get you the items that were stated. The sword bill of the slayer, the bracers of redemption, and the clockworker's goggles. But of course, considering how uh, this voice is apparently willing to offer these items just for a contract break, if you guys broke the contract, who knows what the fuck it would offer for whoever might come after you. Yeah. But could we, for example, accept that contract and go after Leon and then go after Dohirm? Would you, that we wouldn't do it in off? time. He went 30 would days. Be worth it. We'd have to do it within 30 days. That's the limit. Ah. Uh, I just thought we had to accept it within 30 days. No, it would be killing uh, the intellect assassin within 30 days of accepting the offer. Yeah. Besides, if we were to capture Leon, it would also allow us perhaps to capture the Orb of Storms. Yes. Bring it to the Elf Queen. If there is a force in this world that has yet been untapped for ages... It is the elven lands. 
There is much and great power hidden there, slumbering, simply resting, waiting for something that would put it to use. Having influence in the elven court would be a potential great boon to anyone who seeks to defend what is good and right. Yes, but is there any guarantee that the, uh, the elves would act? No, there's never a guarantee that the elves will act. No. They have not done so for very long. This is the but issue. Will they, the they just defend themselves? Nothing but more. I am here. And should I have and bring such a treasure, I believe that with my... He sort of seems to not really like to talk about it. He sort of says reputation. I should be able to gather quite the response in aid of, well, whoever is in need of it. What sort of aid could we expect? Would it be forces? Would it be... uh, I imagine it could be any of them. Food, forces, information. The court has incredible power. It is just often turned inwards. Alright. In addition, we would save this Leon from the fate that the Lich King has prepared for him. And hopefully the Twilight Cross know what they're doing and can save We have... Uh... We have been there in the past, though, and uh, we decided not to enter. This time we would have someone very powerful with us as well. And if he's right, Lord Sasa will not have returned yet. Hopefully. Hopefully. If we would rather defeat Lord Sasa, then we would go to the Naga first. There is I one. believe that that would be folly. As with Drohurm, we would defeat an opponent but not one that is essential to the survival of the Empire as a whole. Lord Sasa is a Lich Prince, but he is just a Lich Prince, if that can be ever said. I have one distinct worry of all of this. Yes? That is. Which is the fact that, of course, if we do rescue Leon, where will they be taking him afterwards? Santa Cora. I just, hope, I just hope the Druze do not come to a decision of war in that case. Because I that will be the first they place attack hit. Santa Cora. They would attack Newport, more likely. Both are right adjacent, and if they're on, a, and if they are truly, truly wanting to reclaim, both are ample targets. Indeed, so they might attack both simultaneously, depending on how and there is, uh, and there is how no strong their defenses are. And many will suffer, which is my worry. Yes, Santa Cora has recently been weakened, so. Uh, it, 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 could not survive a se- it could not survive a second blow. No. Not if the druids attack again. Definitely not I by the druids. I think you underestimate the power of the divine. Well, I don't underestimate it, but they I have under- been weakened recently. And they have, the, the druids are very and powerful. And should such a thing happen, Axis will not allow Sentakora to fall. We will try and not. Axis but we can has only power. Act, we can only act so fast. Yes. And unfortunately, I, while I do not doubt the power of the divines, I doubt the people's endurance after already being assaulted and weakened. There might be riots inside the city. and uh... Perhaps. However, if we do not try, then the Lich King may succeed. And if he Indeed. does, then all is lost. For everyone. The, you're right. There there's, no, no there's, no real, uh, there's no real point in worrying about that. If it happens, it happens. Therapters will speak. You say that he's a good man. It seems that Perdinax has ideas that he can work with the High Druid instead of against her. The Archmage seems to have always been the strongest enemy of the Druids in some fashion. The fact that the Archmage is willing to compromise in this manner, I think, promises a lot. What I fear yes. is, is those Druids did not seem the most welcoming. It's possible he may encounter resistance. He is asking for protection, after all. Yes, there most definitely will be some resistance. Yes. Had we not it more is, pressing uh... matters, I would wish to go with him, simply to protect this deal, but... 
I it think there are more important things to do. Things that are more pressing, more dire. Sadly, that is uh, that is the case. What I simply do not want is for us to begin eliminating one enemy to simply have a second at our doorstep, or in this case, a third. Should a war with the High Druid commence, it will not be good, but it will not be the end of all ages. No, but it will. But it would like it would likely make it very difficult for any attempt to, any attempts to ensure this one does not. I imagine the Druids would uh, just seize the land around them and not expand further. They uh, want to stay inside the forest after all. Even no. if they just claim the land around them, that would that would still remove two of the strongest hotspots there are. Yes, but it I would do not, not end the empire as a whole. I do not think we need to worry for port towns, Jasmine. I think generally the Druids accept that civilization has a place along the coast of the Midland Sea. This is well known, I believe. Likely they would more go for cities like Kavanaugh and cover the land in wild animals, and forests and trees. Beauty of nature. A place that is surely much different from the civilized land of the Empire, but not one that would be impossible to live in. The Druids are not by nature malicious. I'm not saying they're malicious, and I'm not saying it's impossible to work with them. My dame, my worry is the fact that, judging by what I have heard, not all of them want to work. No, just as not all of the Empire will want to work together with anyone particularly. The issue stands is, as far as we're aware, a very large militant faction is a significant issue right now for them. Yes. However, should they choose to kill this emissary that has come to work with them, then that will not be in their favor. As stands, do we want a war on free sites? Definitely not, but it might not come to that. Well, the Lich King will definitely strike. I agree that we should deal with the matters that are, rather than the matters that might be. Although, Besides, do you not care for the soul of your old companion? So I must say, say I personally have... I've been turned by the Lich King. I would want you to either end me, or if possible, bring me back from the brink of my own destruction. I would want the same. He seemed pretty definitive that this was what he wanted. So would anyone who had been... Who knows how uh, warped his mind has become. And in what ways. Who who knows how how who has warped his mind. My experience with him is just with giant dragons and and an invitation at a castle of death. Looks to to Tempus. Mr. Meliator might know more of him. Leon... Leon used the dark powers a lot. Use a lot of dark magic. Raising spirits to talk to, torturing people, bringing out the undead. He did? Yeah, I saw a certain side of him that a few people did. Huh. Do you believe that he could be turned to not wanting the world to end? If I were to hazard a guess, I get the feeling he was a pawn even when I was with him. Not out of his own volition, though. As in, someone was tugging his strings and he was fighting back with as much as he could. Rene's eyes move to Aurelia. So, yeah. Perhaps that by itself might help if you can make him realize it. I believe it can be done. Hopefully it's not too far gone. 
You seem unsure of yourselves even now with these words. Well, I, I didn't know him that well. Uh, it's Tempest that know him, knew him the best. And uh, Dwarm, but I can't really trust his word anymore. So as I understand, this woven friend of yours is dead and long gone. Yes. Yes, he is. It seems like something with a potential to be even more of a what-if in one situation. If there's a chance that we might stop this plan to remake the white and end this endless winter that has been plaguing the Empire, then I should think that we should take that chance. After all, even if the Hydroid were not to strike, if this winter continues, then the Empire will be doomed all the same. And should the White return, then I believe that will have grave consequences, not only for the climate and temperature of this land, but also that well, it might bind all the White Dragons to the Lich King, 